Today's the day. It is the 9-9 energy portal. This is the weekly for the week of. Now remember, these energy portals are not just on the exact day of the repeating number date. It stretches on and has a lot of influence. So let's get into that portion of it. So again, this is a day where you're going to maybe feel a little restless for some of you because you're going to be asking you know, your higher self, what am I supposed to be doing now? What is my real purpose if you haven't already found it? Even if you have found your purpose, there could be a shift and a change that is trying to occur for you and now you're breaking that open. Now, this is leading up to the 1010 energy portal on October 10th and that's where a lot of endings come and a lot of times people have tower moments. They have things come crashing down because they were just not paying attention. Or, you know, you'll see this with the people around you who claim they don't believe in this stuff. <laughs> okay, so uh, not that you have to believe in it or something bad's going to happen to you. I'm not trying to say that. But I think, you know, if you know better, you do better, right? So there could be some massive change that today is bringing or there's the realization around what the change needs to be. Now, the number nine is incredibly spiritual. It's getting in alignment with the divine. And usually it's a completion. And if you see repeating nines, it's usually saying that's a job well done on whatever you were just thinking about. Okay. All right. So let's get some cards here. Now, if you want to get a reading with me, I am going back to the live readings. I like to announce that here because those aren't a constant offering. I am back to doing those. If you want a live session with me, go to Angel. No, I lied. If you want a live session, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Standard readings. If you want a 1010 energy portal reading and you want it by October 10th, you have to get in line now. That is one of the busiest times. That and Christmas time. Busiest times for me. So if you want the best chance of getting it by then, you have to get in line now. Those can be booked at angelsouls444.com. And I do have those listed as 30-minute increments, but you can get an hour, you can get an hour and a half, whatever you want to do. Yeah. All right. Let's focus on what we – get in touch with your higher self. And I want to say this. I woke up this morning. I woke up extra early. And I just – I woke up to the sense of get in touch with the higher self, like reconnect. And so I asked, what is my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing from here? What's the big idea, <laughs> right? And there have been some weird things that have come through and a lot of it has to do with communication and a lot of it has to do with shaking up the content I do here, trying new things, branching out, even though conventional wisdom says, you know, pick a lane and stay there, you know, I was getting a little bit of that message and to write, 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 get the work out there. Stop hesitating, <laughs> right? So, you know, those are the kinds of, and those messages I've asked my higher self to bring those through throughout the day. So I would encourage you to do the same thing. Of course, getting in touch with your guardian angels. That will help out immensely. <laughs> we have new beginnings, and this is Archangel Jeremiah. Now, the number is 20. Sometimes uh, the number 20 can talk about a date. It can talk about an age. In angel numbers, we would take the two plus the zero and make it a two. And we're balancing here. We're finding more peace and harmonizing. That's what they're saying. This is very Archangel Sandalfin energy as well. But Jeremiah on this card with New Beginnings is saying, you are reassessing. I love when all this just like lines up because today is a day of new beginnings. And it's because you're letting something go. It's because you've already completed out a cycle, a lesson, something you don't have to keep repeating. Yes, life review. Starting a new life. Anytime I have a client and they get this card, I just, I love to pause at that statement. Starting a new life, guys, get excited. Let that tingle through you, okay? This is good. This is good. And even if you don't feel like you're in that space right now, that's okay. That's okay. This is just a day where things are breaking open. You're having realizations. Finding your purpose, told you, uh, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So that is what is starting us off for this week. And remember, this energy goes beyond this week, and these readings are actually timeless. So we have Justice, another card of equalizing, balancing, making things fair. So this is the number eight. This to me kind of points towards the 8-8 eight, eight Lionsgate 
portal energy. So what started breaking open back then? What's been happening for you in the past month? Has it been a lot of, I see where the blocks are to my abundance. I see where I get in my own way. I see where I like dream a lot, but I put nothing into action. That's been my thing. <laughs> like, so I totally understand. And of course, eight is, you know, going around and around in a cycle. So we want it to be a positive cycle. And it's widely known as being the number of abundance. Okay, so this is Raguel. Raguel is playing nice with others. Learning our soul path lessons by bouncing off of each other's energies. Yes. So this is uh, you realizing that like maybe your sworn enemy has been teaching you the most. We'll take that one lightly. Okay. Uh, or you start to have a really deep appreciation for what others bring you. This could also be someone coming in to help you. Okay. So that justice card, if you want to think of like lawyers, I even would say this is more like legal stuff, I guess. But I always, always think of like professionals in general. Somebody's going to come in and help you make sense of something you felt was unfair that you had to do. So they're going to help you through that. Okay. Um, or help you navigate. That's the word. Helping you navigate. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. I think the don't give up is the biggest part there because a lot of you watching this, you might say, well, hey, I didn't get a chance to step into my purpose when I was in my 20s. And now I'm this age and I feel like I didn't, you know, I started way further back than anybody else. Exactly. So people who peaked in their 20s are now burning out and you're just getting started. So there you go. <laughs> we have peace. Now this could be a little bit hard for some of you. Again, there's a making peace with the past. So there might be some themes around that because again, nine is the beginning. There's a series of completion numbers here and it ultimately comes up to 12, 12 before we get into one, one, getting in touch with yourself, realigning with your soul purpose, the divine, how you want to express in this physical world, all of that. But first there is, I know this needs to end, or I know this is how I get in my own way. So the number is 13. Again, it could be an age, it could be a date. We would make that a four. You're being guided. <laughs> you're being guided away from something or you're being guided towards something. Again, that's part of the, the new beginning. Now, if you're resisting this, if you are saying, hey, because we have Archangel Azrael here and the card is peace, be at peace with transformation. If you resist that, you're going to be falling further and further behind. Okay. So release the past. There you go. So a lot of us are going to be having troubles with maybe doing that today. And that's okay. That's all right. There's a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. To me, this is like transform through those old habits. Transform through all of those things that you think you have to do or what, what you think you have to be. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I was trying to avoid that little cough. Um, you know, transform through what you think you have to be, how things need to shake out. Open your mind. Open your mind. You know, I've recently, I told you there's a spiritual war going on. And so a lot of that negative energy is filtering through people, but it's also working in this way of keeping people small. So I have come across so many people. They, uh, I don't, I don't want to be insulting, but like they're really okay with numbing out and just being in their cycled routine. Okay. And it's almost like they're zombies. It's almost like they're zombies and they're really, some of them are really proud of themselves because they've been so indoctrinated to think that this is normal and that it's normal to be used. It's normal to not have boundaries. It's normal to let people treat you whatever. It's bizarre. And I don't even know what to do with that, but Today's going to be that day where you're seeing a lot of them kind of fall away. I keep saying today, remember, this is a weekly. So this goes for the whole week, okay? Then we have the Queen of Raphael. This is getting in touch with our emotions and how we feel about things and having power through that. So expressing through the heart space. Again, tapping in. There's a school bus outside. <laughs> I'm recording this very early in the morning. Uh, Raphael, bring Raphael into the situation. This might be healing your body as well. So, and, and healing your mind so that you can feel good enough to move into whatever it is that you're trying to create. So Queen of Raphael, kind, understanding, giving, psychic, follow your heart. That's it. That's how you're going to tap in. Follow your heart, a love of home and family 
trustworthy psychic information. So again, getting in touch with that higher self, tapping into the heart space, aligning the mind and the heart. This is not some vapid little manifestation that you're trying to do here. This is real soul level kind of work. And it's not always pretty. Okay. It's not always pretty. So if you start throwing a fit because you're not getting your way, I don't know what to tell you. Two of Michael, don't get yourself stuck. Okay. This is where you're going to be in this coming week where it's like, oh, I, I, I want to move on, but I'm so in my routine. I'm so used to doing things the way that I always have. It's hard to move on, right? It will all be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. So again, that justice card is kind of coming in as well. So this might be someone who doesn't really like who you're becoming or tries to hold you back. Remember, that's the darkness working through people. It's been happening quite a bit. So don't let anything hold you back. Now, you don't want to make any foolish choices. Educated guesses here, right? <laughs> and make sure you do your research before you move in any one direction. But also don't let the don't let anything shake your confidence, I think, is what is coming through. So leave your comments down below. Let me know how your day is going. Uh, watch this for the week. Come back at the end of the week. Watch it again if you care to. Or just come back and comment. How did your week turn out? And also, I'm being guided to do shake up the content here. So let me know what you want to see. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful week. And take care. Bye.